What's up, everyone? It's Chicks in the Office with Rianne Fran, giving you that Friday energy on a Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. Happy freaking beautiful Monday. We are coming to you from Boston. We are Boston, here in Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> we are here for Caitlin Bristow's live show. We are her special guest. We're very excited. Um, hopefully it went well. We're recording before we go on stage. Mm-hmm. It does feel nice to be on the other side of the of the live shows. You know, we finished up our tour. Now our guests feel stress free. We just we just gotta show up, look pretty, yeah. answer questions. You know what? I am very excited to do that because yep. p- putting on our live shows, where obviously it's like, oh my god, we have to plan the whole thing. But now we just get to show up, and Caitlin does an awesome job, and so very it exciting. should be a lot of fun. But first, let's talk a little bit about Dat Chat, our, our presenting new- sponsor. <laughs> Brandon and I have the giggles, or just me. But uh, Dat Chat is our new presenting sponsor. It's a new social networking app that we are loving right now. We have our Chicks in the Office group on there. We have Cutting Stems on there. And every time that we watch The Bachelorette, we will be in the Cutting Stems group on Dat Chat. I personally love Dat Chat because you just get those takes off, okay? Yeah. You could you could put them out there for however long you want. You can make them disappear. Nobody could screenshot no shit. So you just get those thoughts out there, and it feels great. I actually love Last week, you could also post and like set it to two minutes right. where if you caught it in that two minutes, you saw it. But if not, it's gone. It's dangerous, but fun. That's why I love it. Last week, I didn't even live tweet. I was just on Dat Chat the whole time. So I will be doing the same thing this week. So if you want to get on Dat Chat, download it right now. Make a username join our groups and then you could talk to us because we comment in the groups. You guys could talk about the podcast, talk about the bachelorette, talk about the topics of the podcast, whatever it is. And then we'll jump in there once in a while, comment on your posts, upvote, downvote, whatever it is. It's just a lot of fun. It is. And invite all your friends because you can use it messaging wise. Maybe there's a boy or gal out there that you like. And you want to, you know, send some pics. Get those nudies off. You can do it on Dat Chat. The cloud, it's not there. And also, maybe, you know, you had a little too much to drink. You want to delete messages. If you send messages at like 2 a.m. and you wake up at 6 and the other person hasn't seen them and you're like, oh, fuck, nah. You can delete the messages from the other person's phone so they'll never know it even happened. Yeah, it's perfect. It's great. It's a lot of fun. And yeah, for those uh, people in a relationship or those single yeah, people out there, spice it, up. spice it up, get those pictures off, get those videos off, whatever you're into. I don't yep. know. So you can download Dat Chat on your whatever phone you have, you know, I, iPhone, Android, whatever it is in the Apple store um, in the app stores, or you can go to datchat.com slash barstool, get more info, download it. Like Rhea said, join the groups and let's have fun. Thanks to Dat Chat. Thank you, Dat Chat. I want to bring something up yeah. because you said let's have fun and it reminded me of something I thought of today. Does it not make you angry when people say let's get weird about things that are just not weird? They're like, ah, oh, I'm ordering pancakes this morning. Let's get oh, weird. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. that's not even weird. Right. You're just ordering yeah. pancakes. Something I thought of. I, <laughs> I, I saw somebody wrote something on, t- something on Twitter this morning. It was like, I forgot what the tweet was, but they were like, let's get weird. And in my head, I was like, that's not weird, not weird. at all. Like on Dat Chat, you can get weird. Yeah. It would yes. make sense to get weird on yeah. Dat Chat. Ordering pancakes for breakfast, no. you're not getting weird. Right. It's just people trying to, I feel like people do that when they're trying to brag about like something cool. Yeah. Let's doing. get weird. Yeah. Let's Ve- get Vegas this weekend. Let's get weird. Yeah. Let's get zany and quirky yeah. and weird. <laughs> like, I, don't, I have no idea. It just popped in my head when you said, let's have fun. But I'm in a great mood today. We're feeling good. This is honestly the first time in a few weeks that we were recording Sunday for Monday. It's yes. been a while. It, it has been a while. We had a nice little breakfast in the airport this morning. We did. Like I said, you know, we've just, things have gone swimmingly so far. Shout out my favorite airport restaurant, Flatiron Tavern. <laughs> yes. In term- wow. Terminal okay. D of LaGuardia. Uh, we've been there three times in the last four weeks, I think. I think it might be four. I can't keep count. I texted Fran this morning. Lovely breakfast at the bar. Yeah, on my way to the airport, I texted Fran. She goes, 
I'm sitting at the bar of the best restaurant in New York. <laughs> and I just knew immediately what she was talking about. We have it down to science. Oh yeah. What we get in the evening when we have a late flight and then yeah. what we get in the morning. I had a little mimosa this morning at Flatiron Tavern. I couldn't yeah. help myself. No. They're going to like know your order now. They're going to be like regular. Like when you walk. <laughs> you, Cheese plate. To be honest, every time you like you go through it on your phone and you order and um, every time I, it asks you to make an account and I'm like, I should really just make an account. I, I do the guest checkout. And honestly, after today, after the third time, I should have made an account. We I did it, but I'll be back. So. We're no longer guests. We should have made an account right yeah. then and there. I said, I really am only ever now going to fly Delta specifically out of Terminal D in LaGuardia or else I'm going to be so disappointed every time I fly down. We've become those people that we must fly Delta out of LaGuardia. So yeah. were, you, uh, were, you, were you comfort plus? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's a like a 35 minute flight yeah. to Boston. Um, and it's one of, it's the small planes. Like you, we were eyes open, eyes closed, like land. Like we were, it was so quick. Was, I only went through like eight songs. I, I fell asleep a little bit. Yeah, I was in and out. I made a new rock I was in and out. Playlist that I was listening to. Yeah. And it put me to sleep. Oh, I'm blonde again. You are blonde again. Quick, quick little shout out yeah. there. That was, I feel like that was your weekend and watching Awkward. Oh, yes. I wanted to talk about that. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. So I did absolutely nothing this weekend besides watch Awkward. I'm on season three. Great, Great show. show. Awesome Great show. show. Everybody knows it from MTV. So yeah. when it was first- I watched it when it was yeah. on TV. When it was first on TV, I thought I was like a little young to be watching it. Like it was one of those Fair. shows that when it was on, I would catch like a little glimpse here and there. And I'd be like, Oh no, my ears, I'm not supposed yeah. to be watching this show. So I never fully watched it. But my sister was like, have you ever seen awkward? You should watch it from the beginning. Now I'm locked in. People keep asking me team Maddie, team Jake. I'm obviously team Maddie because yeah, Maddie, you could feel the chemistry between yeah. Jenna and Maddie. You cannot feel the chemistry between Jenna and Jake. Yeah. You just can't. Like, yeah, they like each other. Maybe they think each other is hot. But the the, the chemistry that Maddie and Jenna have, you could feel it. You are also not a blonde guy. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, no. Not for I'm you. Not. Maddie, way more our type. Yeah, way more. That was our, like, um, as soon as you texted uh, that you were watching it, and you asked, like, if I watched, I was like, yeah, big Maddie fan. Yeah. My <laughs> Shocker. Sister, my sister was like, I was obsessed with Maddie. I'm like, yeah, yeah it makes sense. Totally Dark makes hair, sense. light eyes. Tall. Oh, my gosh. the top. That's the thing. When when you yeah. got Maddie standing next to Jake, I know, I it's know, like, well, I Maddie's know. so tall. Maddie's so tall. And Jake is, he's he's not short, but he looks yeah. way shorter next to Maddie. So anytime you heard people making, like, you're welcome jokes. I knew you, it was you got it. Oh, yes. okay, okay. I, I knew you're welcome. I've seen the characters, like I've seen yeah. some of the show. I just never watched never it from watched the beginning. It but I'm locked in now. I'm on season three, so that was my weekend. That's amazing. I had a little Friendsgiving. I my friend threw a party, which was very fun. Of um, holidays we missed in 2020, so everybody got to dress up as different holidays. It was just a big costume party. Um, I was the Easter Bunny. Just had a bunny onesie. It was very comfortable on like a very kind of rainy, gross day on Saturday. Perfect drinking onesie. <laughs> just, mm-hmm. and but it was great. It was people were Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's Eve, St. Patrick's Day. Covered them all. It, it was like, fun. It looked like a lot of fun. I was a little yep. jealous, you know. But I um, you were on dog duty this weekend. <laughs> I was. So yes, I was spending a lot of time with Norman. People. Yeah. Uh, I actually want to say this. People always ask about Norman. They think that like he just disappeared. Yeah. Norman is lives at my house with me. Yeah. Um. But when I sleep, we've been on tour, so like obviously a lot of traveling. My parents are obviously taking care of him. Yeah. When I am not there, he's not just left alone. Right. I hope everyone knows that. They think that I just like threw Norman to the wolves. No. no they, Norman. They think you're like that YouTuber who returned her child. Yes. Like I oh just my, yeah, yeah. would never do that. And Norman. Norman, let me tell you, is happier than ever. Like, my right. parents don't work now. They're both retired. So they just spend every second with Norman. And it's it, he's the happiest dog ever. Yeah. You know, I want everyone to know that. Yeah. He's just the he's the most spoiled puppy around. But your your parents were having a little getaway. Yeah, they went to, they went to Arizona. Weekends. My dad called me last night. He was fucked yeah. up. <laughs> he was so fucked up. And he's like, he's like, I, I gotta be honest. I'm really drunk. I was like, Dad, I, was like, Dad I could tell. He goes, no, 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 I'm no. bombed. I was like, yeah, I, have fun. You guys have a good time. They've been in Arizona all week. That's so. so funny. Good for them. Oh man, that is great. Uh, but it's been a very 
busy weekend, I feel like content wise, we're going to jump into all of it, but like just a lot of activities from everyone between Taylor Swift, Saturday Night Live, weddings, Mm -hmm. like Britney's, like there's, there was a lot, so much wedding content, so much wedding, so much wedding content, so much content and so much fashion content. Like I feel like there's a lot of looks to talk about, a lot of looks to talk about. Yeah. A lot of people are talking about Kendall this weekend. So let's get into it. We're going to start off with Taylor Swift. Obviously she released Taylor's version of Red and of course the all too well short film slash music video with Dylan O'Brien and Sadie, Sadie Sink. Sink. So now I'm watching fucking awkward and I'm thinking Sadie and it's it's confusing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah. We will also be talking about all the weddings and Britney Spears is officially free of her conservatorship. It's Yay. a huge day. And trivia is back. This is a great episode awesome of trivia. Game. Shout out Gina. Yeah, Gina, who was the lovely woman wearing the Friday Energy sweatshirt during the Jen Shaw arrest, joined us for trivia, as well as her friend Katie, who was very persistent on getting them on the show. Smart. So let's get into it, starting off with Taylor Swift. I know that you guys are going to be hearing about tons of Black Friday deals coming up. That's it's close. It's soon. Everybody's talking about them. You want to get in. uh, You want to buy gifts for loved ones. You want to get stuff for yourself. Treat yourself. Nectar sunglasses are amazing. And there's no better time than right now to take advantage of their exclusive offer from Nectar. They're the perfect shades for every occasion. And each product comes with a lifetime warranty that has you covered if absolutely anything happens to them for real. I mean, there's been so many times that I've worn now because, you know, it's the fall. So I wear sunglasses to football games, day games, one o'clock games. You know, it's you get these beautiful fall days. You need good protection. You need good sunglasses. If you trip and they fall, if someone cheers and knocks them off your head and you drop them at the tailgate, doesn't matter what it is. um, Nectar will replace them. That's the lifetime warranty. So if you're tired of wearing the same styles as everyone else, you want to spice up your shade game, you're in luck. They have great new styles that are unique. You haven't seen them anywhere else. They're stylish, polarized, and literally only $50, $50. That's so great for sunglasses for a limited time only. And specifically for our listeners, they're offering a buy one, get one deal, which means you get two for the price of one folks. We love our Nectar sunglasses, so make sure to visit nectarsunglasses.com slash C-I-T-O to get your own today. That's a BOGO offer, BOGO, at nectarsunglasses.com slash C-I-T-O. Taylor Swift has officially released her version, Taylor's version of Red. People were freaking out. The 10-minute version of All Mm. Too Well. People are destroying Jake Gyllenhaal. And then, of course, we got the short film slash music video with Dylan O'Brien and Sadie Sink. And this is just all anybody could talk about all weekend long. My friends from high school were texting me. They were like, "Uh, why does it feel like we're back in my Nissan Altima riding around listening to Red, crying about the three boys that we were dating at the time? And yeah. I was like, yeah, and I would always scream to shut it off because <laughs> sad music like that would make me feel even worse about the situation. Yeah. But it's it's been a great weekend filled with Taylor Swift content. It really, really has. So she released the whole album, which if you listen to start to finish, I believe is two hours and 11 minutes, 31 songs, I have 30 songs. And then 31 is like um, just Taylor's voice being like, thank you all for you know listening and talking about red it's like it's like 20 second song um so there are there's 21 songs that we have heard then the new songs taylor's version from the vault those ones are all fantastic i feel like that was the order a lot of people listen to i would say this is what i did thursday night i did all too well 10 minute first then better man through the very first night which are all the vault ones and then start to finish full album which i didn't do till friday because i was that i was tired yeah i mean 30 <laughs> songs two hours yeah, yeah, yeah on exactly a, on a thursday night exactly um but no it's really great like you said there is something that like people are talking about you know you see on twitter or just whatever talking to people who like don't really care about taylor swift or whatever it is like how why do you care so much about songs that you've already heard before? But there's something about like, I just don't think you really go back and listen 
to start to finish albums as much as we used to. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't really do that anymore. And I haven't listened to Red start to finish since probably like 2014. And if I do have like a Taylor Swift moment where I'm like, I just want to listen to some Taylor Swift, I have like a playlist of multiple albums combined. Mm-hmm. So you're getting different eras all in one. Listening to these albums again is literally like you said, a time machine. Like you're like, all of a sudden I am a freshman in college again, <laughs> like in my do- freshman dorm. Like, mm-hmm. I'm like, holy shit, this is wild. Thinking about like the boy I met over the summer. Yeah. Like it's, it's so like, weird. So and, like, wild. All those feelings come back. And also just like the, the weather right now too. Yeah. Uh, Taylor is, might be mother nature. Mm-hmm. She might be mother nature because Friday I, you woke up and it was misty and rainy and cold and you could just snuggle up and then like around two three o'clock the sun came out and it was a beautiful evening it was like she gave us the perfect amount of rain just so we could listen to the album all the way through and then they were like get your ass outside it's nice out that's a great take saying taylor swift (laughs) is mother Mother nature Nature. but i think that what everyone is focusing on right now is obviously all too well yeah people are destroying jake dylan all all across the internet and so i have a few questions and this is not like like i'm team taylor here i was gonna i was gonna say i have a question too like what did he do other than they just broke up like (laughs) Here, he, no. So I know what he did. I know what he did. I get. I yeah. get the whole thing. He was way older than her, and yeah. he. he that seems to be a common theme with Taylor uh, and John Mayer. You know, older. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. they were. And there's plenty of other guys, guys that yeah. were that were her age in there as well. Right. Um. But I feel like, um, it's like everyone. And I get it. Like, I get the story she's telling. And it's like, you really feel the emotions when you're watching that music video. You feel what she was feeling at that time. And, yeah. it, and it paints a whole story. And even though Dylan O'Brien is so hot, you like love his character yeah. still, even though he's being such a dickhead. Uh, I'm wondering, though, like, people just automatically now are like, let's fucking destroy Jake Gyllenhaal. You, and you the, think? Yeah, well, that's what I'm seeing. And that's what I'm I like. I feel like people eh. are kind of doing it in like a jokey way. Oh no, I'm, okay. I'm seeing like legit, like Jake Gyllenhaal needs to be canceled. And I'm like, all right. Oh, let, I haven't I'm seen like, that. Let, let's see, we're taking it a little too far now. Yeah. But I mean, it, like, have you seen his comments like on his Instagram posts? Like it's insane. Oh, yeah. I'm the like, no one wants that. Thing. But it's like, she doesn't want that either. It's just like... Does she? Yeah, I think she does. No, I don't think she does. No, I don't think that's she does. A, that, that's insane. She definitely does not want that. I think but it's, it's more like, of an art. What do you but... expect? Like, she she's releasing a song that she wrote in complete raw... Like, she told the story on Jimmy Fallon. Like, she was touring for Speak Now. She um, got to rehearsal and like must have been right post breakup. Like she said she was feeling awful. Like you are also to think she's 22 ish at this time. So like this is hitting her really hard. There's also some theories online that perhaps she lost her virginity to Jake. Gyllenhaal. Yes. I saw because of the um, scarf. Yes. And that, that plays into this, but I think she just like came in one, probably never thought this whole song would ever see the light of day. Like she said, she got in, started riffing and just like singing with the band. And this is what happened. 10 minutes of this, of different verses and everything. And this is what happened. And she said, her mom went up to the sound guy after and was like, did you record that? <laughs> like, and he was like, yes. And so it gave her like the CD and whatever. So she had the whole version. And then of course, cut it down for the all too well that you heard on the original version of red. Um, so did, did she ever think she was probably going to put out this version? I don't think so. I highly doubt it. And now that it's like 10 years later for her, I feel like she's like, fuck it. I'll put it out. I like whatever. Right. She's, <laughs> she's probably definitely not hurt by it anymore. Yeah, exactly. So she's like, fuck this. I'll put it out. It's 10 years ago, whatever. But now people are right. so fans hurt. are experiencing They're, it. Yeah. Like for the first time. And she's been sitting on it for 10 right. years. So she's been able to get over it, obviously. Right. And now all the fans are acting like it just happened to her like right yeah. now. And so, and they're also acting like it happened to them, yeah. which I get they're dedicated fans, but I was like, whoa, a lot of hate coming toward Jake Gyllenhaal right now. Not really, like, I understand being like he was a dickhead or whatever, obviously. Seems real, um, he seems real pretentious. Yeah. I wait, mean, wait, wait, really? Because I was about to say, he seems like a cool, normal guy. 
Did you listen to the song? I don't. That's not really no. what I got from the vibe of the song. <laughs> yeah, the but like <laughs> that's but that's was like, one side. Guy, like, did you watch the video or listen? To but, the but that, no, but I will. Agree you think you that's like reality? Like she's painting a picture. Yeah, but I kind of believe that he was like, uh, like Ivy douche. <laughs> yeah, I I could see like in a row, like talking down to a younger girl. This I is could just totally. like people, Taylor Swift no, no, fans people, believe anything she says. Right, but people in relationships act different than they would like say day to day. Like Jake Gyllenhaal could be a super cool guy, but in a relationship he could be a dickhead. Like, you I also really... feel like there aren't good like people don't have great stories about Jake Gyllenhaal. I don't Gyllenhaal hear much in the first about place. Jake Gyllenhaal. The only times I ever see are people kind of being like he was sort of like a jerk. I've never really seen many stories about him, but you no, know, I do understand the point that you're making. It's like this is her side of the story. Yeah, and so and honestly, obviously, props to him for like just kind of like not saying anything like like he's just kind of I, I, tell me you something. I'm not giving any credit to Jake Gyllenhaal <laughs> Noah I, I know you're trying to be the boy's voice here right now I'm I not I'm just saying him. like just objectively like oh he must be going through it right now bro <laughs> <laughs> thoughts to Jake has, Gyllenhaal has, okay. has, thoughts has, and prayers to Jake Gyllenhaal has Taylor Swift had any like clean breaks where like the guy wasn't a terrible like Absolutely. Like She's who? written songs about just like relationships ending that wasn't necessarily bad. Like, I don't think anything bad happened with Harry Styles. We just got great songs from it, but like, she didn't shit on Harry. Mm, I guess not. Not really. Mm, yeah, I guess not. Dear they John. Just murdered, they just murdered someone together. Yeah, right. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> but um, no, there are some really like, she obviously added a ton of lyrics in the um, all too well 10 minute version. I think a lot of people really focused on the uh, crying in a party bathroom and an actress asking me what happened, you, that didn't happen. So obviously fan, like people are like, who's the actress? There's some, there was original thoughts it was Jennifer Aniston, but that seems to have been debunked by one of her friends on Instagram. And then I saw maybe Anne Hathaway, which I feel like could line mm. up because Love and Other Drugs came out in 2010. So she had kind of just recently worked with him. So maybe she like, you know, she knew him more. I also could see Anne Hathaway being like, are you okay? Totally. <laughs> totally. <laughs> um, but I can't necessarily, sir, I can't necessarily yeah. see Jennifer Addison doing it in a way that's like snarky, but I could Anne Hathaway. Yeah. I think my favorite line in the whole song, well, one, she talked about like him not showing up to her 21st birthday, getting along with her dad. But then there was, um, she said, and I was never good at telling jokes, but the punchline goes, I'll get older, but your lovers stay my age. Hmm. Ruthless. Does Jake Gyllenhaal, isn't that ruthless though? Like, no, it's just like, it's not necessarily ruthless. It's just like, so true. Like, right. It's like just, it's, maybe it's true, but it's not really like a dagger. I'm pretty like, sure I don't Jake think... Hall's girlfriend right now is like 25. Yeah. Like, I don't <laughs> think Jake Gyllenhaal's like, oh no. I'm like, if he didn't no. want to date younger women, he just wouldn't. To be honest, they also always had what seemed like a relate, not, not a relationship, but afterwards, like Jake and Taylor, I believe like after red came out the first time, like he, they talked about it. Like he was like, oh, you know, you wrote all these songs. He's like, yeah. It's like I love oh. how at the beginning of this, friend was like, no, people are they're just joking about not liking Jake Gyllenhaal. And then she was like, well, he is kind of a douche and people have terrible things to say about him. I mean, no, I'm not. I In in a sense of like, I'm not sitting here being like, fuck Jake Gyllenhaal, he sucks. Like, But I people now, I feel like, I feel like people have a negative perception of him mainly because Taylor Swift. Probably, <laughs> probably. And I don't have, like, I don't know what to tell you. This was her, this was her immediate reaction post breakup. So we're all reading how a 22 year old girl felt after her, you know, older boyfriend dumped her. <laughs> Which I feel like is probably relatable and accurate to a lot of young girls who date older guys. Yeah. Who think that like they're, and like the guy's probably like, you're so mature. Right. And that that's like in the video, right? Like when they're sitting at the table mm -hmm. and, and, he drops her hand and it's just like, that's a whole thing. He looks so hot doing that. I, it's so bad. It's so bad. No, I, I don't O'Brien looks no, I know. so hot. I think a lot of people felt the same way, which was great because 
that really puts you more in the situation yes. because boy, Jake Gyllenhaal, good looking guy. <laughs> yeah. And I, I saw when someone wrote like after they're done arguing and he hugs her and part of you's like, Oh, but, but he was yeah. just saying like terrible things, but then you see him hug her and you're like, Oh, it just, it, it she, describes the um, relationship probably. Yeah. Really I think, well. I think Taylor also is really vying for, uh, perhaps an Oscar nomination for this. I've been seeing a lot of, Ooh. a lot of that for like a, for short, for, for short films. Noah just made a face. Did you even watch it? Yeah, Noah, you, I, I'm going to step in here too. I wasn't going to give you shit, but you keep making faces and saying things when you didn't watch the video or listen to the song. No, I was just like, that was surprising. I didn't expect an Oscar nomination. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. So <laughs> yeah, you didn't watch it. <laughs> exactly. Um, it's really well done. It's really cool. Uh, it's, it's, it's 10 minutes. Like it's a short film. Like it's obviously not nominated for best picture, but there, they have a short film category. Um, but if I was like a real short film director, I would just be like, of course, fucking Taylor Swift is going to win this now. Like, does she actually deserve it? But like, it's Taylor Swift, you know? But that doesn't necessarily mean she's going to win it. There are no, I know, but I, I would almost feel like, you know, if she got nominated, it's like, the thing oh, about like Taylor Lawrence was easy. The amount of times he didn't get nominated or won. And he's like a big name. Meanwhile, like other directors who are not as big of a name actually win. Right. Or the years that Scorsese does get nominated and the movie is not that good, but he's Scorsese. Well, it's, I'm saying it's more like Meryl Street where it's like, she's just getting nominated because she's Meryl Street. Like anything okay, she does. I'm not going to argue with you. You didn't even watch. The no, video. I'm not. I'm, it could, it could be. It could be really good. I'm just making okay, what my well, point. I'm now you're making me not want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> like it's, it's I'm I the video I'm actually getting I'm not, I'm getting mad for you. I don't <laughs> usually get mad at Noah, but like he's being a little Well, if he wants to argue with me about something he about actually this. watched, right. then go ahead. Yes. But he hasn't even watched it. I, so I didn't even say anything. I just made a surprised face. <laughs> Well, you're you're already saying the the small town directors are going to be pissed at Taylor Swift. <laughs> I would be. What if it's a well like it could be very it well. It could be very good. You know, what? I'll watch it. And it's see, very yeah, good. You probably yeah. you probably should, but um, <laughs> I think that there there also is a video coming out. You're everybody can watch it on Monday, so it'll be out now at ten o'clock. Blake Lively's directed it, and it's the um, uh, it's the video for I bet you think about me. I think that's going to be really, really good. Blake Lively really directing that is fucking awesome. The I Bet You Think About Me is a song that I feel like was also pretty ruthless in the sense that um, it was just also a total like post breakup song of like, I bet you think about me when you're out at your cool indie music concerts every week. I bet you think about me in your house with your organic shoes and your million dollar couch I bet you think about me when you say, oh, my God, she's insane. She wrote a song about me. <laughs> it's all it's uh, it, all very good. And great. Phoebe Bridgers was great. Was great and um, Chris Stapleton's on uh, on that song. I think my favorite one from the vault might be either Better Man or Nothing New. Nothing New is, is, is heartbreaking. Heartbreaking song about like. It's crazy the the difference between what she put out on the album with 22, like 22 so happy and like I'm 22 and like it's mm -hmm. turned into such an anthem. And then this is a song that didn't end up on the album. Right. But it's like talking about how when you're young and, and other women are like, go out, have fun, like experience life. But then when you do that, you get criticized for it. Um, and then like how just talking about age and aging for women, like, it's crazy how she says, how can a person know everything at 18, but nothing at 22? And will you still want me when I'm nothing new? And the two of them also sing a part together. I know someday I'm going to meet her. It's a fever dream. The kind of radiance you only have at 17. She'll know the way. And then she'll say she got the map from me. I'll say I'm happy for her. Then I'll cry myself to sleep. It's like lyrical genius. Oof. She really is. She's so good. Um, but Trying to think if I have other thoughts. Oh, Saturday Night Live, fantastic. She performed, <laughs> she performed the whole song um, with the video playing behind her. She was also in a, a sketch, not it was pre-recorded, but with Pete Davidson, which was very funny. Um, and the, that, the song was funny too. It was like Pete talking to the other writers and just like wrote a song because they're all like, oh my God, Pete's coming. Like mm -hmm. he's like this big star and he's like joking about it. He's like, oh, these fucking three virgins, <laughs> three sad virgins. I fucking... 
Let's not get into a conversation about Pete Davidson because I'll just start talking about how much yeah. I love Pete Davidson again. Joe and Sophie went to SNL. Saw that. Uh, Sophie Turner big. is like the biggest Taylor Swift she fan. Loves, she loves Taylor Swift. And it's Swift. so funny thinking that Joe Jonas dated Taylor Swift and he's probably like, come on, Sophie. And Sophie's just like screaming all too I well. just think Sophie is such a cute like fangirl too because, and like with Miley Cyrus too, I feel like she loves Miley. Like to mm-hmm. also dated Nick. Like there's so many people that Respect. between Nick and Joe that have, that they have dated that Sophie's like, yeah, fucking love them. Um, and I don't the know. A- the after party was probably I- crazy. What? No. I said the after party was probably crazy last night. Just with yeah, all the I'm not sure A-S2. if they have some connection to um, Jonathan Majors also, who was hosting. But like, yeah, the after party was Joe, Sophie, Blake, Lively, Ryan Reynolds, um, Selena, saw Taylor Joy. Can't get better than that. Yeah, yeah Selena, Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez, yes, yeah, Selena Gomez went to support as well. You kind of forget sometimes that they are um Very friends close. you know you don't see them together as often but you know taylor posted that tiktok and uh i saw people period. speculating that pete davidson left early to go to la to be with kim kardashian <laughs> <laughs> like he wasn't at the end thing where they're all standing on the stage yeah he already missed the wedding so i don't know what he's rushing back for i mean kim kardashian calls you show up yeah yeah that's that's definitely true but um, no, yeah, they did. A, they did a sketch together too. On you know, there's a lot of not exactly good blood. If I think between no. Kim and uh, and Taylor Swift, <laughs> certainly not. But Pete's got to do his job. Got to do his job. He did. He did a great job. I thought it was very funny. And you know, if you throw Taylor Swift in there, it's like, oh, sweet. Like Pete Davidson's writing songs for SNL with uh, Taylor Swift on it. <laughs> the guy just keeps winning. I kind of felt bad for Jonathan Majors. Like, he was technically the host. Nobody, like, I don't know why Taylor Swift didn't just host and perform. She she maybe should have. Maybe it was just, like, she just didn't want to oh, put too much on her plate. Um, but, yeah, she was the star of the night. Obviously. obviously. <laughs> because you have such a big weekend like that, everyone's just going to be talking about Taylor Swift. Yeah, exactly. And now we have a new video with Blake Lively. I mean, it's just her director, her directorial? Yes. Directorial, directorial debut. Blake Lively. Pretty cool. Very exciting. I'm going to keep, keep listening to Red. That's that's all. I listened to it on the plane. Listened to it. I was singing when we got here. I'm going to continue to do so. As you should. Bah! Did I get you? Did I scare you? Did I catch you off guard, oh, Fran? A little bit. There might have been a flinch. In the- yeah, I saw, <laughs> yeah. I saw a little bit of a flinch. Yeah. You know that can happen to you at any time when an attacker comes your way. And what are you going to do when the attacker comes your way? You're going to whip out your taser, taser. Because we got taser self-defense is the best way to protect yourself. You can get the taser pulse plus right now, which can, from 15 feet away, lock up an attacker's muscles for up to 30 seconds. So that's the taser pulse plus. If you go to taser.com, you can see all the options on there. You know, we have the Taser Strike Light. Now they have the Taser Pulse Plus that you can look into. And this is perfect because when it's paired with your phone, the Taser Pulse Plus alerts emergency dispatchers with your GPS location as soon as you pull the trigger. So not only are you protected with yourself, somebody will also come protect you as well. It has the GPS if you connect it to your phone, which is also very important if you want to double protect yourself. And when you have to fire yours, Taser will, will replace it for free. So get yourself the Taser pulse plus if you have to use it they will send you another one get taser pulse plus today and save 15 percent at taser.com slash discount slash chicks that's spelled t-a-s-e-r.com slash discount slash chicks once again taser.com slash discount slash chicks supplies are limited restrictions apply and you can see the site for details Britney Spears is officially free, everyone. Her conservatorship a lot has of clapping come. on this podcast. Yes, her <laughs> conservatorship has come to an end after many, many years. She is now free. She's posting about it on Instagram. Her boyfriend's posting about yeah. it on Instagram. This is what everyone has wanted, and it has now happened. So excited for her. So happy for her. It's got to be such an incredible relief that this happened. Um, that now she can kind of just do as she pleases. Her money is her money. Um, and I do think like, you know, of course, um, everybody's immediate reaction and thoughts has gone like, well, let's really hope that the media kind of gives her some time to breathe here. She isn't chased down by paparazzi every two mm-hmm. seconds and she can kind of like do her own stuff. But it was great. She was posting like videos from outside the courthouse of all her fans, uh, all excited 
And like you said, her boyfriend was posting, um, but she wrote, good God, I love my fans so much. It's crazy. I think I'm going to cry the rest of the day. Best day ever. Praise the Lord. Can I get an amen? Hashtag freed Brittany. Honestly, it's amazing because the relief she must feel right now after so many years, and I feel like it went quickly this past year. I feel like they got the ball moving as soon as she was able to get that great lawyer who actually helped her out. As soon as her dad was removed, it was like, boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Now she's free. Now it's like, we wait and see what happens next. But for now, it's like, she should be able to do whatever she wants and see what happens. I'm just very happy we got to this point. Did you see, I don't know if you saw this, but there were some posts from people who Um, It was in the New York times, but I think another, I don't know if this came out a while ago. I've kind of lost track of the free Britney like documentaries. I feel like they just so many many of them. Um, But this one I think was called controlling Britney Spears. And there um, was evidence of a security company hired by the conservatorship, like and Jamie that were like, you know, quote unquote spying, Mm -hmm. but like keeping tabs on, all the people that were like posting about, about free Britney, like from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So like Britney's Graham, like, you know, we've had them on our show, like all named in this article being like, yeah, like they had a a security company, like looking into them and watching them. Mm -hmm. And because they were starting this movement that obviously exploded. Um, but pretty crazy like that. That's, you know, they were trying to get Britney out of something and, we're kind of being like spied on the whole time, but this is the end for Jamie Spears. See you later. I think it's the end for the entire Spears family besides Brittany. I did see a post at the end of last week, maybe that was, um, I think maybe it was like an excerpt from Jamie Lynn's book of like them when, when she got pregnant at 16, uh, her family like kept Brittany away from her. I don't know. It's weird. Mm. Interesting. Because of course, Jamie Lynn very much has her own story. Uh, the way that, the way that they handled Brittany makes me think that the family wasn't exactly great when Jamie Lynn got pregnant at 16. Oh, there's no way they were a supportive family to Jamie Lynn yeah. Spears. I, I honestly feel, I think that Jamie Lynn Spears is also fucked up, but I also feel yeah. bad for her at the same time because she had the same parents as Britney Spears and she's yeah. going to be fucked up because of her parents. It all, uh, at the end of the day, a lot of times it comes down to how you were raised. And yeah. if you got fucked up parents like those two, then you're probably going to be a little fucked up too. And I think that is what happened to Jamie Lynn Spears. And also thinking about Jamie Lynn also being in the spotlight at a young age. She had her own, her own show dedicated to her. Zoe yeah. 101. Her parents were probably taking her shit back then. Like, She's probably, probably going cashing to, her Zoe 101 paychecks. They're probably still cashing <laughs> in from Jamie Lynn Spears. Yeah. Steel Magnolias. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're probably taking checks from that. Like, I don't think anyone's safe in that family. I feel the grandchildren, I hope that they're safe. Yeah. I know. I, it is nice to see Brittany like out and about with her sons. I feel like we haven't seen that yeah. in a while. So just being able to go and like do what she wants. And I am so excited. Go to the doctor. Be for, engaged. I know. I'm so excited for whatever like not even life-wise because she can do whatever she wants, but like, I'm excited work-wise if she wants to, <laughs> what is the next thing she does? Cause she'll definitely like get paid a bajillion dollars, whether it's a, some TV special or a book or a movie or a show, mm-hmm. like whatever it is. And I don't know if it'll be soon or later or whatever, but I feel like eventually it will happen um, where she gets to actually tell her side of things like fully and boy, will that and, and and i hope sh- and she will but she will get so much money and she will probably make back a lot As of the money should. that she lost from her father which obviously she should and also get her story out there not only is she yeah. gonna make a lot of money people are gonna know what she actually went through which is very important because probably gives a little uh insight and a little warning to other child actresses actors musicians out there that yeah. gotta be aware of their parents because this shit happens like there was um when I, when I did acting when I was younger, I had to get this thing called a Coogan account because Mm -hmm. there was somebody, I forget her first name, but like the last name was Coogan and like this girl's parents stole all of her money. And so they make you get this account and you can't touch it. Your parents can't touch it until you're 18 because somebody stole all this money. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. And it is really crazy to think that we have been talking about this for so long and it, it happened. I still really can't believe it. 
I, there were so happened. many months where it really felt like nothing was going in the right direction. It, it kind of felt like everyone was just screaming free Britney for, for no, fun yeah, yeah, at yeah. one point. Just Without like even like really knowing do. why. Yes. Yeah. And now it's like, oh, it actually happened. Yeah, exactly. So we could not be more happy uh, for Britney and whatever she decides to do next. Weddings galore this weekend. Nothing but weddings. We had Paris Hilton. She got married. 11-11. Great date, great wedding anniversary. It is a, it is a great one. Um, I think a lot of people were like, wow, why'd she get married on a Thursday? It's like, come on. Paris Hilton obviously wanted to get married on 11 11. It was all for the date. Um, Simon Hawk got married. So there was a lot of Kardashian content there. Uh, Lauren Perez got married. That's, you know, she's very close with Kendall and Haley Bell, all the, mo- you know, the model squad. Hey, um, two of them, Haley, no, not Haley, Kendall, Kendall and Bella, Bella were in the, um, bridal party, um, Ben Higgins, he got married this weekend. It was just Congrats, like, ben Higgins. all <laughs> over Instagram. I felt like I was just watching videos from after parties, rehearsal dinners, like everything. It was just nonstop. Um, but I think let's start and like, let's talk about Kendall. Cause that was such a huge topic. Yeah. Kendall, it was a beach wedding. Gorgeous. Um, she had a bridesmaid's dress, like they all yes. have bridesmaid dresses, but then she changed and she wore this black dress that I I really don't even know how to describe. It was Just like cut out, all cutouts way. all the way down from like head to toe, not head to toe, but like head to crotch. Yeah. Um, Major under boob. Uh, yeah. Cleavage. It just really covered the nipples and, yeah. and, and nothing else. But look, you can say, oh, is this like a little much for a wedding? Like you don't want to try and outshine the bride. Mm-hmm. If you have... Kendall Jenner and Bella Hadid in your bridal party, you know what you're signing up for. I saw so many people being like, that's disrespectful to the bride. It's like, is it? I'm sure the bride knows what her friends are going to wear. And it's fucking Kendall Jenner. You're not going to tell her to cover up. Also, they wore the bridesmaids dresses to the wedding. Yeah. It was the after, after party, party that she changed into. Exactly. And like you said, if they are bridesmaids to this woman, yeah, woman, woman. <laughs> if they are bridesmaids to this lady, yeah, then she knows what they're going to be wearing to the after party. Yeah, she knows what they're getting into. If she had a problem with it, I'm sure she would fucking say it. Like I don't know why people are so upset. They're like, I would never invite a Kardashian or a Jenner to my wedding if they're going to show up like this, bitch. They would never come to your wedding. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, like yeah, please give me a break. Um. That, yeah, she looked absolutely stunning. This is what I'm saying. Like, Kendall Jenner could, will wear whatever she wants and be talked about. And, yes, like, you know, was she kind of out and free? Yeah, do it. It's a wedding. She's having a fun time. Um, They're like, look at the bride, what she's wearing. Obviously, the yeah, bride I mean, is going to be in a yeah. wedding gown. Right, right. It's her wedding. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, Paris Hilton, finally this is the one Carter she's got a new peacock series out right now also to like watch the build up to this to this wedding um but the wedding looked stunning absolutely stunning Mindy Weiss is a I don't think she, I don't know if she did Paris's wedding I know she did Simon's I feel like she's a busy lady um but they Paris <laughs> Paris had like six different dresses I feel like I might be more, might be less, but there was a lot. It looked so beautiful. Her her one main gown, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Super classy and beautiful. Yeah, yep. I will Elegant. say I love that I only saw pictures of Paris Hilton. Like oh, I yeah. did not see her and Carter. I just saw Paris oh, yeah. Hilton. Even at her after party, she was posting all these stories on her Instagram of fun pink dress. Yeah. She's posting all these stories with like random influencers and other celebrities there. I don't see one with her husband and I love it. I'm like, this is so Paris Hilton. She's probably having the time of her life at her after party. She'll meet with her husband later, but she's just happy to be there. So much fun. She got, And then there was like, like you said, a big... San, the next day, Santa Monica Pier, um, like festival almost, like a Paris Hilton festival. That looked awesome. And it was funny. I saw Kyle post on her story, Kyle Richards, and, you know, um, Paris is her niece. And it was like, she had this giant face mask on. And it was on Saturday. And she was just like, she couldn't move her face. And she was like, getting ready for day three of Paris's wedding celebrations. <laughs> <laughs> like, just like, there are more parties, more stuff to go to. Uh, but like I said, everything looks so fun. Simon's wedding 
looked amazing as well. So handsome. The, oh Kim God. gave a speech that apparently brought the house down. It was so funny. Everyone's joking like, ah, S- SNL Kim coming out. She's out here making funny speeches. Sang out with Pete Davidson yeah. a lot. The funny bones yeah. coming out. Yep, yeah. she's cracking think, jokes. She's Pete, making jokes think, about her own weddings. You think Pete uh, helped her a little bit? I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, she's kind of being like, I don't know why you asked me to talk. I don't really have a lot of successful marriage <laughs> tips. <laughs> Classic but Kim. It was. That's yeah. why I love Kim Kardashian. She's so fucking yeah. funny, and people like don't give her that credit enough. I think they are now, but yeah, she is very self aware. I don't. When people act like the Kardashians are not self aware, I'm like, are you even paying attention? They clearly know what their brand is, and yeah. they lean into it, and they're very funny. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I think that I'm saying the same thing over and over again too, of just how good everyone looked. Chloe also stunning. Yeah. <laughs> I think that everyone like crushed their wedding looks this weekend. As much as people want to like complain about Kendall Jenner or whatever. I think that the wedding guests at every wedding looked so good. And I don't know. I'm like, I I didn't have any issues with what anybody was wearing. I enjoyed it all. I think that all the weddings looked beautiful and a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm with you. I just, I love wedding content. There's this, there's certain events that it's like, Oh, FOMO. This looks like it'd be so fun. Something about weddings I just like to watch. Mm-hmm. I don't need to be there. Uh-huh. I just, I just like to watch. And there were so many, like I said, so many good ones this weekend that you just have to like tip your cap because everybody did a great job. They were all so the, the place, the, the table settings, the tables, the flowers, the venues, the everything's beautiful. Think about the people trying to decide which weddings to go to though. There was, they were, some of them hit two, three, I, a lot I, yeah, I, I do think a lot of folks in LA had, uh, like a, uh, Paris. I mean, look at Kim, Kim had Paris's mm-hmm. wedding and, uh, Simon's wedding. They had all, you know, multiple I think weddings Lawrence together. was in Miami. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Crazy. Um, but everybody definitely like made it around to, to all the spots. Um, there was a great picture of Kim helping Paris with her, like with the train of her dress. Nicole Richie was at Paris's wedding. Mm-hmm. Looks like a great, that. a great time all, all around. I wonder what, and I just feel like the celebrations for, for Paris continues. And then uh, and across the country, Nashville, bachelor wedding, got all the bachelor people together, Ben Higgins, Mary Jess Clark. I think, um, you know, they've been engaged for a while. They've had COVID delays and things like that, but they finally got married and just looked so happy. Congrats to those two. I'm happy for Ben Higgins. Those two couldn't be more wholesome. No, they really are. I'm like, oh, if only I had a little ounce of innocence like they do. Yep. There could not, could not be uh, more wholesome. And that, once again, another one looked like it was a blast. There's really not anything bad to say about weddings, are there? (laughs) No, you can't be like, that wedding was like, it sucked. Yeah, they all, they always look like a good time. They all look great. We have an awesome game of beat. And Fran, like we said, great guests, great, a great duo coming on um, that we just, once again, had to say thank you to for giving us that Salt Lake City moment. So we're going to get into that. But first, guys, if you need a little me time, a little relaxation time, I know Rhea does. She's <laughs> got to crack open a nice ice cold Coors Light we're approaching the holiday season. There's a lot going on. Yep, we're busy, busy bees. She's glugging back there. <laughs> um, we're busy bees, buzzing around, um, <laughs> gift shop. Like, there's just always so much. It's hectic. So if you get a time on maybe a weeknight or a weekend that you can actually sit down and relax, do it with a Coors Light because Coors Light is literally the only beer out there that's made to chill. Uh, it's cold lagered, cold filtered, cold packaged. It's as crisp and refreshing as the Colorado Rockies. Perfect for a moment to unwind. So like I said, a nice Sunday. You're watching football. I set the stage last time. I'm going to do it again. Fire going. Leaves changing. You don't have to get off the couch. You get someone to get you the beer. Yeah. And you sit down. You crack it open. It's really, truly the best. And you just let out that, like, just absolute fantastic. Um that's why Coors Light's the one we choose when we need to unwind. So when you want to hit reset, reach for the beer that's made to chill. Get Coors Light and the new look delivered straight to your door with Drizzly or Instacart by going to CoorsLight.com slash chicks. 
That's CoorsLight.com slash chicks. And always celebrate responsibly. This is coming from Coors Brewing Company in Golden, Colorado. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for another game of Beat Rhea and Fran. This is game 24, and we are joined by two very special ladies, Gina and Katie. Fun fact about Gina, she was the lovely woman. Woman? Woman. 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 <laughs> Good Fuck. God. She was the lovely woman. I, you see, I was trying to get it right, yeah, and I got it and wrong. And you said women yeah. instead. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Let me take that back, <laughs> but leave that in at the same time. She was the lovely woman wearing uh, our Friday Energy sweatshirt during the Jen Shaw oh. arrest <laughs> on Real Housewives <laughs> of Salt Lake City, an iconic moment that will live on forever. <laughs> and we got a million trillion DMs about this. And shout out to Katie, who DM'd everybody to get you guys on here. And thankfully, we got in touch with you you guys so welcome to the show thank you for having us we're very excited so excited to be here yeah i i think it was maybe devin who sent like this screenshot because you know devin's good with her with her social mm -hmm. and i was like send that to noah right now we have to we need to have <laughs> them okay. on katie dm me yeah. emailed me like <laughs> i was on it good because my publicist yes we, yeah. like we saw the preview right like when the trailer for the season came out we did, there was a split second, and we were like, that girl is wearing a Chicks in the Office sweatshirt. <laughs> and then when we finally got to the episode, it was like featured. My friends were dying. They were texting me, and they were like, literally, here were the logos. Homeland Security, NYPD, Chicks in the <laughs> Office, <laughs> running energy. It was unbelievable. <laughs> oh, man. Like, what, what can you, like, what do you, your biggest takeaway from that day, Gina? <laughs> It was just, it was the, like, what you saw happen was very, like, real life. It was just the craziest thing you could ever imagine. Um, so that probably happened around 10, and my day started around 5. So I was up, you know, getting coffee, getting breakfast, and it was just one of those mornings where everything that could have went wrong went wrong. Car yeah. batteries were dying. So at the time, we were literally finally, Jen was, like, leaving, whatever. So finally, we're like, all right, we're going to leave. Like, we, ha we have to go. We have to get this day started. And then the cops show up. <laughs> and our, oh wait so how exactly insane. are you like, you, like yeah what, what is your, what is your, what is your job? job yeah i guess that's a good question so <laughs> i'm a production coordinator <laughs> i work for the production company um for that show <clears throat> excuse me it was shed media so i work for the production company so my title is production coordinator so oh yeah man. what a moment yeah it was iconic yeah what was going i was through? very happy yeah what was going through your mind very happy that a, i had your clothes on the, yeah. Yeah, yeah what was going through your mind when the when the police showed up <laughs> I I just I didn't know what was going on. I then I had I just was like, all right, I have to get all their information. So I got all their badges, all their phone numbers, because people thought it was maybe a prank. People thought it was strippers. Like no one, no one knew. Obviously, no one knew what was what was happening. So it was it was just insane. It insanity. was insane because it was like, was it and strippers? the way that the well, because the way that the like Homeland Security was asking, right? Because they obviously like can't say why they're there. Yeah. So they're like, we're looking for Jen. We just want to know if she's okay. It's like what? Yeah. Like it's such a weird line of questioning where it's like, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Ah, oh, incredible moment. We are, are officially <laughs> like cemented in bravo history like hall yes. of fame moments i uh, now i honestly want that sweatshirt specifically that sweatshirt to be in the clubhouse like to be in andy's clubhouse it i think it deserves be. it it deserves, <laughs> it, really deserves it it's one of the biggest andy, moments come on in come like, on andy think about it just How think about amazing. it yeah just yeah. think about it because it was yes. a massive part of this moment uh it was incredible <laughs> what but we are so excited to have you guys play with us it was a perfect way yeah. to to chat and have some fun this is game 24 mm -hmm. as ria said we're gonna play uh it's 15 questions we will alternate um you know who gets to go and if you get a question wrong the other team can steal Whoever has the most points at the end of the game is the winner. If it's tied, there will be an overtime. And to determine who goes first, Noah will give us a movie on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, we have to guess the Rotten Tomatoes score, I should say. It's not on Rotten Tomatoes. We have to guess the Rotten Tomatoes score. <laughs> and uh, we'll go back and forth on that. And whoever's closest will get to go first. So, Noah, what is today's movie? Today's movie is The Breakup. Okay. You guys go first. 
you you want to go first? Sure. Uh, I'm going to say 55. Damn, I was going to say 52. Sorry, I know, it's the middle of the line. I'm going 39. Back to you. Um, I'm going to go lower. Let's see. I'll do 28. I think it's low. I don't think it's high. I'm going to go 43. It's 34, so Rhea's the closest. Yes! Oh. What did you oh, say, Rhea? She said 39. 39. Oh, yeah. All right. Hey. So first question. <laughs> Not often. That was close. You were only close by. By one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. First question to Rhea and Fran. Shout out Abby from Connecticut. Ed Sheeran has released four albums with titles that are mathematical symbols. Name these four albums in the order of their release. I have no idea. Literally. You know the mathematical symbols. Like, the f- there's four. It's the four it pl- big ones. I know. It's, it, it, it's, so it's, it's, just, it's, it's just plus, four. minus, it's the big div- four. It's yes. plus, <laughs> minus, divide, <laughs> times. Or, no, there's no minus. It's, no, it's plus. Addition, no, but- subtraction, multiplication, <laughs> division. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, well, so oh, there oh, is oh, a oh. minus, plus, minus, times, divide. All right, I'm going to get 15 seconds. <laughs> multiplication, subtraction. No, but the last one that just came out is an equal sign. So it's not those four. Like the last one, the album that just came out is an equal sign. So That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's one that's an X. That's multiplication. Mm-hmm. There's one that's division. Multiplication, addition, subtraction. My head hurts. <laughs> is that All right, you know what? Four? Multi- X? I, the time division. is up. But cool. I, you should probably get some more time. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't give us more time. No, no, time. I'm just saying, like, I should have just said, I think, I probably should have just said the symbols for you to choose from. Yeah. All I know is, honestly, I, we're not going to get it anyway, because okay. all I know is the last one is an equal sign. Okay. The one, that, okay, the so last to, one that came out. Ter- I don't know the order. I'm warning. very bad at math. <laughs> it has nothing to do with math. <laughs> yeah, but once you start throwing any of those names in there, yeah, the brain asking just. Asking about mathematical symbols. It, oh, lost oh, us. Okay. <laughs> completely to lost me. Gina and Katie. Okay, I know that the one that just came out is equals, and the first one I think is divide, right, Gina? That's with Castle on the Hills, definitely with divide. Yeah. Was that the first album he came out with? <laughs> divide, it's divide, multiply, oh. subtract, and equals. There's no addition. Okay. But I don't know, Ten I seconds. don't know what the I think just go with that order. That order sounds good. Oh. From first All right, to divide, last. multiply. Yeah. Oh, from first to last? Yes. Is divide first, G, do you right, think? You got, you Just got do five it. five seconds. Just say it. <laughs> okay, divide, multiply, subtract, equals. Incorrect. <laughs> the correct answer is plus times divide equals. Plus times divide okay okay i'm just right pic- I'm, no i'm just like picturing <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the album cover yeah, i have yeah. to look at the okay. <laughs> yeah he okay. had other albums in between but... yeah okay yeah still zero <laughs> hot starts yeah wow okay. we're rusty my <laughs> head is <laughs> hot that gonna be good. from that yeah, yeah big time we're just here for the good time right i feel like i'm yeah. doing mul- not I'm for doing a long multiplication time problems yeah, yeah just for a good time yeah. starting writing on the table is like i'm bugging <laughs> me out go to the next question please yeah. okay question number two shout out abby not abby from connecticut just abby different abby okay just abby. not from connecticut abby from an undisclosed, but could be from connecticut undisclosed location she could be i guess yeah, yeah. yeah all right question number two to gene and katie which couple has the largest age gap a beyonce and jay-z b priyanka and nick jonas C, Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds. D, Chrissy Teigen and John Legend. It has to be Priyanka and Nick, right? I think so. I don't know how John Legend is, though. No. Well, I think we just go with Priyanka and Nick. Yeah. Yeah, Priyanka and Nick, final answer. Incorrect. I think it might be Beyonce (laughs) and Jay-Z. Are they 10 or more than that? I sneaky think it might be Blake and Ryan. Ryan's like older than I think. Maybe. Maybe it's Blake and Ryan. 15 seconds. Let's go Blake and Ryan. Okay. Blake and Ryan, final answer. Incorrect. Mm. Oh, it is Beyonce and Jay-Z. Beyonce and Jay-Z are 12. Blake and Ryan are 11. Mm, And then Priyanka and Nick are 10. I wish I just trusted my answer. Chris and John are 7. Sorry, Rhea. I know, I know. No, it's my bad. I should have stuck to my guns. 
Okay, question number three, still tied at zero. This is to uh, Rian Fran. Shout out Zoe from the UP of Michigan. What does that mean? I don't upper know. Peninsula. Well, <laughs> Zoe from the UP of Michigan. What episode in Katie season... Katie said Upper Peninsula, so maybe oh, okay. that's... Yeah, I'm going to trust Katie on that one. <laughs> what episode in season one was the infamous Chuck and Blair limousine scene? Episode seven. I wasn't even listening to the question. Can you say the one The famous time? limousine scene with Chuck and Blair when they have sex for the first time. What episode? Of season... Vic it's called... I wish you named... It's called Vic a Victor Victoria Victrola or something. Um, you sound very confident. Seconds. I would say do it. I'm going to go episode seven. Correct. Yes. One point. Oh, that was good. With Me, Rain Please, time. by Sum 41 <laughs> in the limousine. Mm. I've watched this episode yeah. a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One nothing, Rian Fran. Question number four to Gene and Katie. Shout out Maggie for this. Uh, Harry Potter question. Oh, boy. Name Harry, oh, no. Ron, oh, and God. Hermione's pets plus their names in Harry Potter. <laughs> we literally said we're like any Harry Potter Ron. mission we don't have. We yeah. Don't you guys haven't seen Not it? Not banned. Sorry, guys. Have you guys seen any Harry Potter nope. movies? <laughs> oh, wow. That's so surprising. Nope. <laughs> like we're really not into yeah. Harry Potter. Totally fine. Yeah. My sister made a plan to watch all the Harry Potter movies. I started weekend. watching them a couple weeks ago. Rhea sent me a text <laughs> that like I just was dying because she texted me. And she was like, "Yo, so like, are the Harry Potter movies really that good?" And I was like, "The first I one's mean, pretty good. Uh, <laughs> first one's great. I've seen the first one a bunch of times." <laughs> um, okay, uh, so this question is for me now. What's happening? All of you. Are you <laughs> filming? Is it my it looks slipper? Like you're having a like, I don't know what's going on. I told you, it looks like she no, no, moved into no, the office. No, but she's like shaking it oh like, this is such oh. aggressively. <laughs> this is such a mom yeah. slipper shake. She has like house slippers on. Um, <laughs> it's, okay, so now this it's, is to it's me. It's to you now. Name Harry, Ron, Hermione's pets. And their their pets names too. Harry is um, an owl, Hedwig. Ron is a rat, Scabbers. And Hermione is a cat, Crookshanks. Correct. <laughs> Damn, I gotta get you on a Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, two nothing Rian Fran now. And this question is to Rian Fran. Question number five. Shout out Brianne from Baltimore. What was the name of Joe Jonas's solo album? Oh no, don't do this, Fran. Fast Fast Life, Fast Lane, Fast Life. Fast Lane, Fast Life. Fast Life. Finally. Fast life, final answer. Correct. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Justice for fast oh life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was worried for you there. I know. All right, three nothing Rian Fran now. Question number six to Gina and Katie. Shout out McKenna from Western New York. Which of these shows did not premiere in 2005? A, The Office, B, Grey's Anatomy, C, Dancing with the Stars, D, Friday Night Lights. I know the office did. All of them. I know. I think. I'm trying to think of Friday Night Lights. Friday Night Lights was after or before Grey's Anatomy. 10 seconds. Um, I would think Friday Night Lights would be after Grey's Anatomy. I don't know, though. Five. Yeah. I'm going to go with Friday Night Lights. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> What year was Friday Night Lights? 2006. 2006. All right. 3 1 Rian Fran. This question is to Rian Fran. Shout out Haley from Chicago. Name four Disney Channel spin off shows Corey in the House, Sweet Life on Deck, um, uh, Raven's Home, and Girl Meets World. Correct. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> what she said. All right. 4-1 Rian Fran. Question number eight to Gina and Katie. Shout out Morgan from Raleigh, North Carolina. Nice. I still read it as <laughs> Rayleigh. Yeah. I yeah. just would like everyone to know that. I'll never stop reading it like that. All right. Which movie did Megan Fox and Lindsay Lohan star in together? Um... I don't want to say her fluidics. I don't think that's it, but go with that. It came to your head. I don't know. She's Lily Lohan's on Transformers, I don't think. Mm. I don't know. Herbie fully loaded. Incorrect. 
mm-hmm. fashions of a teenage, teenage drama queen. Oh, the song started playing in my that head. Girl girl was a- I was like, that's why I wanted you to stop dancing. I was like, you give it away. Correct. Up every day, wanna be. I watched that movie like more than I'd like to admit. <laughs> it's a great movie. Your foot is freaking me out. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, <Okay. a> sl- <laughs> it's a slipper. I'm sorry. I'm going to put them away. I'll holster them. Okay. All right. Five one, Rian Fran. Question number nine to Rian Fran. Shout out Haley from Chicago again. List four movies in which Beyonce is a featured actress. Dream Girls. Obsessed. Obsessed. Um, Dream Girls. Obsessed. Um, oh, oh, oh. Pink uh, Panther. Is it? The Lion is, King. Isn't she in Pink Panther? Oh, no. Why don't we go with... um um. 15 seconds. You're hitting me. Foxy again. Cleopatra. Isn't oh, Awesome her? Powers. Awesome Powers. Awesome Powers Gold Member. Yeah. Okay. Awesome Powers, Powers Gold Member. Dream Girls. Dream Girls. Obsessed. And The Lion King? Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Was she in Pink Panther? She was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, why did I just think of Pink Panther? <laughs> Six one Rian Fran. Okay, I'm going to play a movie oh. clip, and you guys tell me what movie this is. This is to Gina and Katie. Sweetie, it's a workstation. Got it. And you come in here dressed like a hobo, it's distracting. I know you're working. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Come on. Seriously. Come on what? Who is that? To old, uh, to a ball, Jane. Hey, that's Will Farrell. I was just gonna say it. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know. I, I don't know who the other voice was. I'm trying to think. Oh, what's the one with him and Mark Wahlberg, the dad movie? Ten um, shit. Um, five. Um, house party. Incorrect. Can you play it one more time? Yeah. Sweetie, it's a workstation. Got it. You come in here dressed like a hobo, it's distracting. I know you're working. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Come on. Seriously. Is it the come other guys? Is, is that, that the one where they're cops? Sure. Eva Mendes, the other guys. Yeah. yeah. yeah the other guys? Yeah. yeah. Correct. Because yes. that definitely was Mark Wahlberg. Arnie Pommy just... alert. Arnie Pommy alert. Pom- <laughs> <laughs> I should have played that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, 7-1. Rian Fran. Watch. Question number 11 to Rian Fran. I'm fucking Shout- crushing it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Shout out Savannah from Denver. According to Ethan Kraft from Lizzie McGuire, what is the secret to his glowing hair? Don't know. Isn't it just like shampoo? Or like conditioner, doesn't he like say that he just like conditions or like shampoos twice or something? I don't know. Ten seconds. I'm trying to think of the Lizzie McGuire movie because I feel like he invented it in there. No, I don't think sure. it's from the movie. I think it's from the show. Five seconds. I feel like this is a really stupid answer to just say conditioner, but I Time's feel up. like it's conditioner. Final answer. Incorrect. The eggs. The Gina and Katie. It's glowing hair. I feel like for some reason I don't know why mayonnaise popped in my head. <laughs> Yeah, that could I be. don't know why. That sounds like something like early 2000s Disney Channel would say. <laughs> yeah. Go with it, yeah. Right, maybe it's final answer. Incorrect. The correct answer is he doesn't repeat on the shampoo. Poo bottle. It has directions. Lather, uh, rinse, repeat. I, I don't I, repeat. I was, was something, close. Uh, I yeah. knew it was something, something just simple. That's why I say like he washes, he shampoos twice, or like doesn't. Yeah, yeah. He does. I remember. Remember, he's like, I don't repeat. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Damn. Damn. <laughs> All right. Question number twelve. This one is to Gina and Katie again, and this is also another Harry Potter question. Unfortunately wow. for you guys. Wow. <laughs> Harry Potter questions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's no, giving what what the people want. No one's you know? really trying to get me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, shout out Haley from Chicago. You guys aren't going to know this, I guess, but <laughs> order these <laughs> Harry Potter books by length from shortest to longest. Chamber of Secrets, Goblet of Fire, Half-Blood Prince, Order of the Phoenix. Well, Chamber of Secrets is the first one. That's the yeah, shortest. That's I know I, that. I have these in my classroom library, so let me think. I think they will get they get bigger, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. Um, all right, we'll go 
Well, she said shortest. You said shortest to longest. Yeah. Say the. Shortest well, there's only longest. four books only, you only named. Only four of them oh. that I named. Okay. Say them. So again. I think the shortest is. Can you say them again? Now? You want me to say them again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Chamber of Secrets, Goblet of Fire, Half Blood Prince, Order of the Phoenix. I think it's Chamber of Secrets, Order of the Phoenix, Half Blood Prince, Goblet of Fire. Final answer? Yes. <laughs> Chamber of Secrets, Goblet of Fire, or the Phoenix, Half Blood Prince. 15. Ch- Chamber of Secrets, Half Blood Prince. Five. Chamber of Secrets, Goblet of Fire. No, because that's just an order. Chambers of Se- Chamber of Secrets, Half Blood Prince, Goblet of Fire, or the Phoenix. Final answer. Correct. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, eight one. Rand, Rand. <laughs> okay, question number four. Or question number thirteen. Shout out Carissa from Boston, and this is to Rian Fran. Name. Three out of the five brothers from Malcolm in the Middle. I never watched I didn't Malcolm, watch Malcolm what? in the Middle. What? I always shut it off. Malcolm? <laughs> <laughs> There's one. Uh, yeah, so it's really only two. Yeah, no, I, 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 I don't have a guess. I truly don't think I ever watched one episode of Malcolm okay, in the Middle. Okay, to, to Gina and Katie. Uh, Malcolm, Reese, Dewey, Francis, and Jamie. Wow, all of them. Oh there you go. All of them. Malcolm in the middle. <laughs> she there was like, go. no Harry Potter, yeah. but I got Malcolm no, in the middle. I <laughs> only shut off Malcolm in the middle. I love to everybody hates what? Chris. That's a good one. But Malcolm and... in the middle is a classic. Brian Cranston. Yeah. I never watched it. 8-2. Okay. Everybody hates Chris was awesome. Oh, so good. <laughs> I missed that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Question number 14. And this is to... Gene and Katie, shout out Brittany from East Chester, New York. Which of the following people did not voice a character in any Shrek movie? A. Amy Poehler, B. Larry King, C. Seth Rogen, D. Olivia Coleman. I have no idea. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna guess Amy Poehler. Final answer. Yes. Larry King? Larry King? A, Amy Poehler. B, Larry King. C, Seth Rogen. D, Olivia Coleman. Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen? I don't think ever. Yeah. Never did a Shrek movie. I hope not. Seth Rogen, final answer. Incorrect. Ah, Fuck. Olivia Coleman. Really? I guess I probably. Uh, I mean, Amy Poehler maybe should have been the I have the uh, characters here. Amy Poehler voice Snow White in Shrek the Third. Larry King voice. There's a lot of Shrek movies. The ugly stepsister in Shrek yeah. Two, and uh, and Doris in Shrek the Third, and Sh- oh, he was in like a ton of Shrek movies. Wow. Seth Rogen voiced a ship captain in Shrek the Third. Huh. Mm. I'm not as familiar with Shrek the Third. As... Yeah, I never saw. It. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm unfamiliar. I'm with, really just with a big that, Shrek. With that, with that piece. Yeah. yeah. I mean the first Shrek movie. Right. Yeah. Okay. Final question. This is to Rian Fran. Shout out Katie from Marquette. What is the name of the song that features Miley Cyrus on the Jonas Brothers album Lines, Vines, and Trying Times? Before the Storm, final answer. Correct. Oh my god. <laughs> I actually got that question wrong on the dozen recently, so I'll oh, never really? get it wrong again. Oh hit. really? But it was named the Jonas Brothers song and it was lyrics and the lyrics were from Before the Storm. Mm. Mm. And I just it was not coming to me. So yeah, the so fact that you just said that, I was like, <laughs> as soon as Maya was like, I'm not getting this wrong again. You said that so confidently it scared me. Yeah. I was like, Okay. Oh, all right, yeah. just right, dump yeah. <laughs> nine two, re and friend. Oh, you know what? We sealed the win. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but we were banking on we a had, win. We needed it. We, we yeah, had to it's come okay. Back strong. It's okay. We've had some bad, not some bad losses, but we've we lost cl- the last some close one. losses recently. But honestly, we just wanted to talk to you and and <laughs> really thank you for making us a part of history. Truly. Yeah, and you know, I was happy to do it. You know, happy to happy to serve you guys. <laughs> and um, you guys are definitely from Philly. I know. I see Katie's champion yes. oh, and exactly the thing in the back, but yeah. She you, know, you got the you, you I got the accent. <laughs> yeah, go birds! Shout out six and singles. Plus the name. Yeah. I can't. Gina D'Angelo is just the most <laughs> so Philly. Oh my gosh, that's I amazing. I love it so much.
Um, yeah. But yeah, if you want to frame that sweatshirt, just yeah, I, know I got it on right it on. now. Yeah, oh, I, I it. knew she just, had it on. I mean, <laughs> I had wow. it you truly know? <laughs> a golden. It's a. It's an icon. It's it a, really is. a relic. A relic. We now need to get one of those sweatshirts and hang it up in here too. Oh God. Damn, yeah. Yes. That one, like, <laughs> no, I actually think we just need to get a. Uh, a screenshot of, of that moment yes. and, and then hang frame it up. that. Yeah, yeah. we, yeah. Exactly. we exactly. need that. Um, thank you guys so much for coming on and playing with us. We uh, really appreciate it. And yes. um, Noah, if you you want to tell them to send their emails. Oh, sure. Or, I mean, their sizes. Yeah, if you guys could email That's me your sizes. That's what we normally do at the end <laughs> yeah, of this Why game. are you acting shocked we do this at the end of every game? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know. It's been so long that in my mind, it's like you only if you forgot. want. Yeah, no, 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 we no, do no, it for everybody. everybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, if you guys could send me your emails uh, and sizes, then we can send you some merch. Yeah. Yeah. Some more, more merch, merch to wear. for you to wear cool. on Thank you so much, you guys. Yeah. I'll arrested. wear it next time. Next time a housewife gets arrested, I'll yeah. make sure I have it on. Thank God. That's amazing. Thank yeah. you guys so much for joining us. It was great meeting you guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Great meeting you too. Bye. All right, that wraps up today's episode of Chicks in the Office. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, vote for us at votepca.com. People's Choice Awards, pop podcast, Chicks in the Office. You can vote 25 times a day. Voting ends sometimes this week. So make sure you get those votes in or you can tweet about it. We love you guys. Have a great week.